I'm going to explain the setup for the classical palette. I have a pure string of colors along here, beginning from the light to the middle to the dark. So we start with titanium white, cadmium lemon yellow, cadmium yellow light, cadmium yellow medium, cadmium yellow deep, cadmium orange, yellow ochre, cad red light, cad red medium, alizarin crimson, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, thalo blue, raw umber, thalo green and black, ivory black. Now the middle of the palette, uh, the middle of this palette is around the orange and ochre value. So if, if we're painting indoors a portrait, a figure, or a still life, from here on up, we're painting the light. Your middle tones on the figure or the portrait or the still life will be around cadmium red light value. And every, everything below that will be in shadow. So I have a string of grays here mixed with titanium white and ivory black, and they correspond to these values. The reason for the grays is you think of them as the atmosphere the air we breathe, and they control the intensity of the color, and they also turn edges, turn form. This is very important. So the way this is set up, we'll mix our lights on this side of the palette, the middle tones in the middle, shadows in the darks over here. And if you're organized here, you'll be organized in your painting. So remember what Whistler said, the palette is your instrument, the colors are the notes, and on it you play your symphonies.